Hey, it's Mike Monday here again. Um, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a great day or about to have a great day, depending uh, where you are in the world. This is your regular, I'm not sure if it's quite daily yet, but your uh, regular source of insight, inspiration, um, and information to help you in your creative work, making music, or whatever else it is you're doing. Because at the end of the day, it is about the whole of your life um, and getting better in every way. Hi, Wiri. So, um, first of all, uh, if um, you have a big challenge in, and I'm sure you do have a big challenge because everyone does, but um, I want you to let me know in the comments what is the number one obstacle that's holding you back uh, in your creative work, in your creative career, in your creative business? Um, and if you're a lurker, then feel free to send me a, a direct message and I'll add it to the list of things that I'm covering in these uh, regular Facebook Lives that I'm doing. So what's the number one obst obstacle that's holding you back? Because there's always a, a solution. And today, what we're going to cover is how to stay focused uh, on finishing something when you've got too many ideas. And this is from Jose M. Gonzalez Palmer, who says, Sometimes I have trouble staying focused on one track when so many ideas come to mind. At times, I'll start composing something and end up writing a bunch of other ideas in the same session. It's normal, and I'm sure... I'm sure it happens to everybody. Just want to know if you have any techniques on how to stay better focused while creating. Well, I definitely do have some techniques um, on how to stay uh, uh, focused while creating because I've got a t-shirt, so I must do. Um, so, uh, the first thing to say about this is it's a great problem to have, okay? so. As long, if you're in this situation where you have too many ideas, and I know exactly the situation you're talking about, um, it happened to me often, um, as long as you're finishing uh, lots of music, keep having loads of ideas. Um, it's just a uh, sign that, sorry, some notification just come up on my phone. <laughs> it's just a sign that uh, you know, you're in a creative state of mind. So. If you are finishing, don't finish. Don't try and stop having so many ideas. Lots of ideas is a good thing to have. I mean, I certainly felt that I was kind of in that kind of on fire state when I was having lots of ideas. But if it is actually stopping you finishing anything, and all you're doing is starting, that's not such a good situation. And you do want to be focused on some focusing techniques. So I've got three things. And the reason I'm having to draw rather than write is because I'm using my iPhone and I'm, I'm actually seeing uh, myself talking, um, it, it turns the writing back to front. So you're, I'm having to subject you to my terrible artwork. So um, the three things uh, that can help here uh, in my experience are first, chunking. So if your mind, if your mind knows that you have a particular time that you are free to have lots of ideas, often it will allow you um, to stay focused on finishing something. So if you give it a either time of the day, if you work you know, throughout the day, or maybe a session in a week, if you only work for, work for sh short sessions, if you only have the time to work for short, short sessions. So if you chunk either your day or your week into, okay, so on Wednesdays, is my day for uh, you know uh, creative uh, idea coming up with or you know at the start of the session I'm going to come up with it, all these ideas or the opposite way around experiment with it then often your mind will allow you to stay focused because it knows that it can deliver all these great ideas uh, for you experiment with it so that's the first one the second is using a journal and in uh, a lot of my uh, programs I do um, ask that people get some kind of journal, preferably, I haven't got mine down here actually, but preferably a, a paper one, because it doesn't want to be uh, electronic, because you're doing a lot of stuff in the computer and it just gets way too confusing. So, a journal, um, and this helps in two ways. 
First, journaling itself helps you get a lot of these kind of backed up ideas out there, out onto a piece of paper, which kind of frees up your mind a bit. So that means these ideas won't uh, come at you and kind of distract you from finishing uh, what you're finishing. So the act of journaling regularly. Um, Julia Cameron, who wrote a book called The Artist's Way, um, suggests something like morning pages, which is where you write three uh, sides, literally write three sides of just kind of um, stream of consciousness. You don't, you don't edit, you just, just write. You don't have to do that in my um, uh, experience, although it is a really good thing uh, to do. Simply just writing whatever comes to mind at some point and keeping uh, a journal. Not like a diary of like, oh, I had breakfast at this time, but just a, you know, whatever comes to mind. So that's um, the first way a journal works. The second is actually in the moment. So it's like a project journal, studio journal that you have on your desk, you know, in your workspace, right next to you with a pen, ready so that when you have um, an idea and I understand some of these ideas will be you know for music producers will be within uh, the DAW but when you have an idea for something just jot it down and go oh, okay so that's you know I need, I need to remember that because again that is giving yourself permission to refocus on finishing the stuff and as I said remember if you're all if you're already finishing stuff then don't worry about having too many ideas it's a, it's a good situation to be in this is only if you're not finishing anything because of too many ideas. And then the final one, and I couldn't think of a picture for this one, <laughs> so I had to uh, use the letter, is trust. Now, I, I see this a lot with all sorts of people who, um, that, um, and myself actually, who kind of feel that if they don't capture all of their ideas and they don't kind of act on all of their ideas when they happen, then they're gone forever. And that may well be the case, but that is coming from a place of scarcity, thinking that ideas are scarce, good ideas are scarce. The simple fact of the matter is, if you allow yourself not to have to capture everything and hold tight, and, you know, another um, example of this is when you've got, you know, you're working on something that you think is really good and then you never finish it because you're, you, you, or you can't move forward with it because you don't want to ruin it. That is coming from a place of scarcity, of uh, a feeling like this is the last good idea I will ever have. <laughs> if you have more ideas, they will, more ideas creates more ideas, which uh, creates more ideas. It's like the hydra, you chop off one of its heads and two grow in its place. So don't think that that you have to capture all of these ideas, otherwise I'm going to run out. That is not how it works at all. The more ideas you have, and the more ideas you specifically take action on and finish, the more ideas you will have. There isn't a, a limit on the number of ideas. They are infinite. Okay, so um, what isn't infinite is your ability to execute and finish. So that's why it is important to stay focused on finishing. So, trust that if you don't act on this idea in the moment, it will come when it will come again. Or a better idea will come. You know, don't worry too much about capturing all those ideas. So those are the three things I would suggest if, if this too many ideas thing is um, stopping you from finishing. Chunk your uh, day or your week, depending on how, how long you uh, work on your creative work. Use a journal for journaling daily, just getting out all of that stuff in your head and in the moment while you're actually producing so you can jot stuff down. And third, trust. Trust yourself and trust that the ideas will come when they need to come. That, that is probably the most uh, powerful one. And this comes with uh, experience and, um, and a certain amount of confidence that comes with that experience, but you can actually put the confidence first. Just trust. Um, so, if you know somebody that might benefit from this video and from what I've shared with you today, then please share it with them or tag them or tell them about it um, or something. And remember to tell me in the comments what's your number one obstacle that's holding you back in your creative work, in your creative life, in your creative business in the comments and 
If you're a lurker, feel free to send a direct message to me on, on my Facebook page. I don't really use my uh, personal profile at all, so my uh, Facebook page, and I will make sure to answer it in these uh, regular Facebook lives. Now, go and finish something.